Good. How are you guys? Doing well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and straight to questions, okay? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Oh, what a difference a week makes. Last week you said, you know, I came here to win, and they did tonight. What was the difference tonight? We just played good. Um, we, we were ourselves, and we played good. Um, you know, I just – I got to give praise to the line, man. They killed it tonight. I told them that all night. And if they kept doing what they were doing all game, there's no way we're going to lose that. Um, we got too many good skill players, and, uh, you know, they let us show that tonight, and I just, I just give praise to them. The defense came out and fought out soon. Well, what does it mean when you hooked up with CJ and you think back to your days at Conley and that kind of thing, every time you guys hook up, you hooked up twice for touchdowns tonight? Yeah. Um, I mean, he's my ECU teammate now. That's really my freshman – or his freshman year last year, his first touchdown, it meant a lot. And, um, everyone it still does, but I think that's something that we'll kind of look back on when we're done with this. Um, you know, even kind of when we're moved on when we're older, which will be pretty cool. But, um, I mean, we got we got great guys around him, and that's why he's, that's why he's getting open, really, is because we got so many weapons and, and we – we're able to show that tonight. Oh, you were obviously down last week, but how can you compare that feeling to this post-game locker room celebration? Yeah, night and day. Um, I mean, I hate losing more than anyone. Like I said, I came here to win. Um, I stand by that. And, you know, I mean, we're going to celebrate it tonight, but starting tomorrow, we're going to prepare for Navy, and we're going to go in. I mean, one and one in the conference sounds good, but two and one sounds a whole lot better. Um, we're just going to continue to be ourselves. You know, it's all Coach Houston, Coach K. Uh, prior in the week, I'm just going to do my job. I'm going to focus on nothing else, not the score or anything, um, and just do my job and trust in them and trust my teammates. That's what I've been doing. Hey, going back to that touchdown to, to CJ real quick, sometimes I call those easy points, cheap points when you, you score quick. How nice was that? I mean, to hit on a big play where you didn't have to grind out a drive. I mean, that play seemed to, to really kind of turn the momentum in y'all's fa uh, favor. Are you talking about the long third down? The seventy-five yard touchdown, yeah. it, you know, early in the game, that yeah. that seemed to just uh, get y'all going. Yeah, it did, man. Um, I was, it was kind of funny, so I got hit on that play. It was five man protection, and they sent six. Um, and I just knew I had to sit in there and and get it off. I knew it was going to be open. Um, he ran a great route. Um, the rest of the guys did their job, and um, I just hung in there. Um, and I got I got hit. I was on the ground, um, watching from an angle, and the linemen were running up to me like, "Get up, get up, get up!" And I was like, I just kept watching it, kept watching him run, run. I was like, "Dang, he just scored." And then I helped them up. They they were so focused on helping me up. I don't even know if they saw the rest of the play. But um, plays like that, man. I mean, that's what makes football special. Um, it makes the game special. And um, we had a, we did, we had a good night tonight. And uh, we just got to continue to work and continue to get better. Colton, what does a win like the one you got tonight do for the belief system of this ball club moving forward? It kind of came right at the right time. Yeah, it did it did come at the right time. Um, I mean, like I said. We all came here to win. We didn't come here to come in second place. Um, we, we came here to win. And, uh, I mean, sometimes when you're not losing, it does get tough. But you know, I told the guys all week just to, just to focus on our job. You know I mean? The answer's in the dirt. Just keep working. And keep pushing, and it'll all come our way. And tonight it did, and that proves that. And, I mean, we're just going to stick to that method and keep going. Growing up around ECU football, living in Greenville, how much more does it mean or impactful is it, you think, for, for you Eastern North Carolina players to – just see that winning tradition come back, being a part of rebuilding that tradition. Yeah. Um, I mean, I knew there was a ton of us from North Carolina on this team. And, I mean, we came here with one goal, and that's to, to bring the program back and to win, like I said. I mean, I said it all the time. I um, came here to win, and, and that's what we want to do. Uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. We know it's not going to be easy. Um, there's going to be highs and lows, but we just got to keep working. We came here because we believe in this university, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, we have one last question for Holden. Holden, can you talk about Raji's performance tonight as a freshman? Yeah, him and Keaton, man, uh, yeah, they balled tonight. You know, I told them, told them all week. I mean, I've, I've told them since I got here. I mean, they're playmakers, and it'll come. And, I mean, it's hard not to get frustrated sometimes when, when things aren't going our way. But, you know, those guys just keep working, keep being the same kids that they were the day that they got here. Um, and, I mean, they keep growing. They keep getting better every single day. Um, and uh, we just got to – I mean, I'm proud of early. Okay. Thanks, Holden.